Hi, Cancer. I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your dedicated reading for health, career, and finances. Cheers. Now, these are general messages. Not everything will resonate with you, but if it does, claim it 100%. Manifest your dream, health, career, and your finance, financial goals with me. I have your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. Now, I'm going to be dividing this reading into two parts. Timestamps are just going to be simple. The first is going to be about your current health, career, money situation, and the next is your future. So are you ready? Subscribe to my channel. I keep posting uh, readings about health, career, money, and love. That kind of you know, covers everything or every facet of our lives, doesn't it, Cancer? Now, you need to find out where your Venus is. It's very important for love and for money, okay? Because she rules that. Watch that reading. Now, like, share, subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And I'm very grateful to you for doing that. Let's start. What is the general energy for your current health, career, and money situation? Current, cancer. Current. Right now. Thank you. Laughter. You know, I don't know if some of you have heard that laughter is the best medicine. Somebody could be depressed here. Go out. I'm not saying go out and just laugh like crazy. Though there are these laughing clubs. I've heard about it. Just watch something that changes your vibration. You know, the way you move. Uh, shift the way you are vibrating. That is easily created by creating a different movement in your body. Then you vibrate differently. You produce a different sound, a different frequency. Laughter is the best sound. Watch something funny. Hey, I love to watch Seinfeld. What about you? What shows do you like? Watch something funny. Laugh. It's going to help improve your health. It was also, I, when I think of the card laughed, laughter, I also think about children. If you have pets or children, spend more time with them. You are worth it. You are worth it. Somebody here needs to know that you, you're, you, know, you are being undermined at your workplace. Undermined. Now, what do I mean by that? They're not giving you your real worth or they're not assess what was that word validating you don't be minimized by them you are worth it and let me tell you if somebody is minimizing you at your workplace making you feel insignificant hey somebody is coming towards you for work who's going to make you understand your true worth and your value now this says love matters so this talks about partnerships and we're not talking about love here i've already posted your love reading go watch that this is about work. So some kind of a new partnership is coming your way. And I'm telling you, this is going to bring back laughter in your life. It's going to show you how worthy you are. And if this is what you want, Cancer, so be it. Now, I don't know if the place that you've been working has made you feel like there is no laughter. There is nothing there. It's coming. Some of you have not been feeling well. Laughter is coming back to your life. Childlike happiness, rejuvenation. Yeah. It's my son energy about good health so stick a message from my keeper deck about your health career finances okay yeah. now there is a divine feminine here that i'm talking to this could be a water sign because you know when she has just like you she has a rose in her hand it talks about you know for me it's like a cup that she wants to offer to someone somebody who's very caring motherly nurturing cancer scorpio pisces Perhaps you do not have a job. It says not hiring. Maybe some of you are trying to find, you know, something good for you, but you've, you've struggled because I don't know if you've been waiting, hopefully for that offer to come in. And it's not. In the meanwhile, somebody is depressed here. You know, their head is down. I don't know if you're drinking. Just please, it's very dark energy. Uh, it's like you're not, you, 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 you've given up. Please don't. You know why? A gift. The gift. And I'm setting intentions that the gift of a new job is coming towards you. Brand new opportunity. And it's, look at this. It's gifted by the universe. It's like, here, take it. Don't give up, please. This is coming. I want you to believe that, Cancer. Do not give up. Now, if some of you are not feeling well, maybe you have depression or you're going through something which is torturing your mind, the gift of health, the gift of peace is coming to you. Okay? And I'm setting this intention for you. Claim it. Now, Let's take another message from my keeper. That is for your work and career. 
current. Now, false person, I don't like this card. If some of you have come here for a confirmation that you have somebody around you, and not on the up and up, they could be wearing a mask, they could be overly sexualized or sexual. I don't know what game they're playing, but they could be playing a game with you. And I want you to be careful. Be careful. I don't know if they're trying to entice you. This is somebody you know who's that. Uh, look at her. She's, you know, sitting with that fan, um, somebody who wants to entice someone. And there's somebody standing behind who's very interested. I mean, and they're almost mesmerized by them. I don't know if there's some, first of all, there could be a fake person around you at your workplace. I'm giving you a confirmation on that. Could also be somebody who's trying to curry some kind of sexual favors. I want to put this out there. There's somebody who's very, you know, cute and coquettish and sexy and overly sexual. Yeah, just don't trust this person. I, I hope they're not around you, but it's shown up. It's possible that somebody has this. Take what's yours, leave the rest. It's for somebody else. Now, some of you are going to be flying through the air. This is my card of Sagittarius, Jupiter. This talks about foreign lands. Some of you who have been stuck, because see, this anchor can anchor a boat and give you stability, but it also make that boat stuck in one place. If you felt stuck in a place where you felt you're in the mud, now I don't know if it's your reputation or if it's your money, there's been no growth. You felt anchored in a bad way. That's what I mean. See those mountains in the back? You're going to be flying over all the, oh, sorry, there are no mountains here. You see the ship flying? Some of you could be getting a job on a cruise ship if you're looking for that. Some of you could be flying to a foreign place and starting a new life, setting your base there because anchoring is about setting your base. You know, it's about your muladhara, money. It is also about finding a stable occupation that is going to be abroad. You're going to have to travel over water. And, you know, when it's Sagittarius, it'll be with foreign people, commerce, uh, foreign lands, import, export, um, foreigners. You could be earning in a different currency, yeah, Cancer. Congratulations. And you know what? It's going to be a jackpot. You know, I'll give a message to somebody. If somebody is dealing with a lot of false people in their workplace, but they felt stuck, they're going to leave. And they're going to get an opportunity outside somewhere, outside that zone of toxic people. It's going to be a jackpot. This energy is available to you, 777, money. And I'm setting this intention for you that this new job is going to be your gift and it's going to unlock this. You know, when you go to Vegas and you go, you put that coin and it goes, da, 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 da. you know, that that's what. Don't worry about these false people. Just do not worry. And even if there's nothing over in the, on the horizon right now, okay, this card is going to make you fly over the horizons. As you can see, horizons, fontaine. This is far off places. Lointains. I'm so sorry, my French. I don't even know French, but you know, this is the only deck available in the UAE and I had to grab it because I love this deck. I want the English version though. This is about you breaking free from clutches and chains with toxic people at your workplace. And you know, it's going to lead to you getting money. I don't know if some of you are going to find work in a casino or on a cruise ship. If that's you, it's coming. It's coming. It's going to give you stability. It's going to give you a place where you are respected and loved and a lot of money. So be it. And I'm also setting intentions. Some of you could be able to buy your own home there. That's what you want, Cancer? It's yours because you are the fourth house. You are about the home. You love to be nurtured. Okay. Now, I'll take from another deck, okay? This is for you, my darling Cancers. Your current health, money, and work situation. Let's see what this deck has to say. Hey. I'm talking to a divan masculine. How sweet in that card we had the divine feminine. And spirit says, hey, you know what? Let me put the masculine in also. So somebody's got a lot of fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sag. Very well put together. Sexually charged up. Passionate about their work. This is somebody who wants to create something. And they're fearless. They are very charismatic and they go after what they want. It's a go-getter energy. 
Now, there is something about this energy of the well, which I love. This is water energy. Of course, well is water. There is a deep connection that they have with something from their past, I feel. And it's over generations. Generation, because the well gives water for you know years and years. This individual could also find a job in an oil well or drilling or oil and gas, one of those countries. But this connection that they're going towards, and I'll tell you why I keep saying this work connection. I'll tell you. This is something that has come to them from their, you know, maybe their father knew someone. This is some generational thing which is coming to this person as a job opportunity. Okay? Now, I don't know if this is going to bring about a lot of emotion. Maybe it's because water, overflowing of emotions. I feel there's something some opportunity coming towards somebody here, which for generations has been in that family. It's that, it's hereditary. It's like they deserve this. It's theirs. And it is something which is going to bring a lot of tears. And it's a very deep connection. The well goes deep, deep. Now, it's going to lead to a commitment, a partnership. There is a partnership coming towards you for work, which is going to be emotionally satisfying. It is something from your family. You've done it for generations. You're going to be signing a contract. This is Libra. Libra. Okay, it's about justice. It's about fairness. It's about contracts. Okay, Venus and Libra. And it's going to lead to you having a lot of money. Because see, and you know, the, the oil wells, they, they keep giving money for generations, you know till it runs dry. And this is you signing papers, documents, committing. There is this energy coming towards you for work. Do not worry. And it's going to come from your family or for somebody who knows you or knows your family. Okay, Cancer? There is some history here is what I mean. Now, now, this card, okay, is a scythe talks about hasty decision this is about cutting something out in a hurry don't do that please okay just don't do that if you if just don't i don't know why i felt the need to tell you that's the number 10 if this number means anything to you okay this is pluto and scorpio this is ending something but in a hurry now pluto is about transformation it's about throwing something out as well sudden endings now i don't know if something could be ending suddenly for someone but this is also the card of collecting the harvest. I want you to channel that. So if there is something which is ending for you suddenly, okay, at your workplace, whatever, the rider comes in with what? Good news. This is Gemini. Communication. Good communication. From what? From your friend circle. This is the garden. This is Aquarian energy. Where you, your small groups and associations. So whatever you've cut out, or whatever is getting cut away from you, whether somebody's removing you hastily from you know some occupation of yours, don't worry. You're going to receive good news from your small group, your associations. And I'm telling you, this is going to help you get a committed job and a partnership. And I'm setting this intention for you. Don't worry if somebody hastily removes you. I just don't want you to remove some yourself hastily from somewhere. I want you to reap the benefits before you leave. That's this energy too. You know, whether it's your gratuity, whether it's your um, your overtime, your, whatever. Finish it correctly. Don't leave in a haste. I think somebody wants you to do that. Don't do it. Take your money. And then there is good news coming towards you from your groups, your associations. Could also be somebody at a distance. This could be your small group of friends, maybe from your college time, who are going to contact you. Somebody who, who you know. It's this group that you're a part of and there is good news coming from them. And I'm telling you, it's for a job. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Angel of Abundance cards for you for your current health work situations. Money. detox your friendship when this word detox comes out some of you need to detox your diet or whatever you're eating it is causing you some kind of health problems i don't know what you're overdoing you would know that please whether it's some kind of food that you're allergic to um something that you're overdoing you know it just detox 
you know, do a bit of intermittent fasting, just read up on that, eat more food from source, you know, eat sattvic food, something in your food needs to be removed or some habit. This is sabotaging your health, okay? Friendships, are there losers around you who keep pulling you down? Throw them out as well. Please, detox them. Unblock. There's an energetic block for health, money, okay? And in your career. Go ahead and do that. Positivity, faith, and optimism, you know. This is Sagittarian. This is Jupiter energy. Love this for you. And I'm setting intentions that positivity, faith, and optimism will be reignited in your health, in your career, and in your finances. And so be it. Organize for success. Some of you need to make a concrete plan, whether this is a meal plan for your diet, for your health, or this is a proper plan as to how you're going to go from A to B to C to Z. Okay? You're going to do this test here. You're going to give this interview here. Whatever it takes to organize. Even your day. You know, you're going to spend this time on LinkedIn, you know, networking. Whatever it is, you're going to put your resumes out here. You're going to talk to this person who knows someone. Organize. When this energy is available, it means that the jobs are available too. You just need to shift your energy and your vibration to being in the zone to achieve something. And nothing can stop you. Nothing can suck. Now. Let's move on to your future health, career, and money. Okay, let's go. Cancers, the future, please, spirit. Cancers, please. Cancers, please. To my cancers, please. Okay. You know, hope and happiness. Do you remember that card there? Optimism, faith, and happiness, hope and happiness. This is coming towards you. And you know, when this card of hope, when this word hope comes out, it is the Aquarius energy, hope and healing that is for your health. And when the word happiness comes out, it is the sun card, which is again for your health. There's good health coming towards you. Cancer, grab it. Claim this. Be your best self always. You know, Cancer, you are the crab. You have a very hard exterior, but the inside is soft mush. And if somebody hurts you, you retreat into that shell. Be your best self always. This is telling me that if somebody feels that they have been threatened or they don't feel valued enough, and this could be at your job, you put your best foot forward. You stand in your power. You are worth it, Cancer. And this card is also telling me, you know, get ready that you may suddenly be uh, put on the spotlight. Be your best, you know, whether it's best dressed, be on point. You may receive an offer out of the blue. You know, maybe when you're out and about, be your best self always. Show that to the world. And they, you are, I feel there's something amazing coming for someone out of the blue. Just be, make sure that you look on point. That's, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Let me know when it happens. Infinite blessings. This is what is in your future. And I'm setting intentions for you. Do your affirmations with me. For your career, infinite blessings. For your health, infinite blessings. For your money, infinite blessings. It's going to be your bank account, you know, flooded with money. Job offers, power, whatever you desire, good health, infinitely blessed. That's what you are, Cancer. Now, let's take some cards. I'll start with my Normans. This is for your future health, career, money, energy. Okay, it's for my Cancers, please, for it. It's for my Cancers, please. All right. Okay. This is your card. Moon in Cancer. Now, this talks about fear. Some of you are very scared. I could be talking to a, somebody who's a mother. Very, very feminine. Um, the feminine energy is very strong. But somebody here is vibrating from fear. This is about repressed fears. It's also about, you know, thinking about dark things or secrets. Hidden things. You've been facing a lot of obstacles. This is the card of Capricorn. Now, when this card comes out, 
I don't know if somebody is organically creating obstacles for you or if it's your own mind. Just think about this, okay? Now, a mountain is imposing structure. You almost feel like, what the hell, man? How am I going to go over that? And because it's a card of Capricorn, it's ruled by Saturn, which means it's about big government organizations, you know, red tape, blue tape, bureaucracy. Some of you could be facing problems from that in the future. It's going to be a change, shift of direction, a change in the direction, a change in the wind. It's coming for you. I'll tell you what, I'm setting intentions that there is a secret, okay, which you do not know now. This is hidden from you. Whatever obstacles you are facing, whether it's from a government organization or from anything else, it's going to be a change in the compass. You are going to shift away from those difficulties to peace. So whatever you're facing or will be facing in the future, there's going to be a shift. Do not give up cancer. This is hidden from you. So get ready for it. Okay. Now, this is... Chiron in Libra. This talks about something being eaten up bit by bit. This also talks about debilitation or disease or deficiencies. If some of you have not been feeling very well, okay, so number 23, there could be some kind of a vitamin deficiency that you're going through. I want to first put this out there. Now, it could look very harmless, but this rat is destroying something very important. Now, this also talks about a rat. If you are at your workplace, there could be a rat. Please watch out for this person. They pretend to be very sweet and savory. They're not. They're destroying something. They're doing perhaps your hard work. They're sitting in the boat with you and you're rowing. They're pretending to row and drill a hole. So I'm giving you both these messages here. This could also be a lot of worry. Okay, a lot of worry. Something which is unhealthy. And you know it, I think, what it is about your health. It's eating you away. And then I have the card of the lilies. Now, this is a Virgo energy. And Virgo is the sixth house. It's about your work. It's about your career. It's about your health. Now, when this energy comes out, it means you need to go within and look at something closely, which is eating away at your health. I don't know if it is directly related to food, Please take a look at this, a closer look. Virgo is also about detectives, okay? So I need you to look at all the labels that you watch you're eating. It could be causing some deficiencies in you or check yourself out for some kind of vitamin or any other iodine, magnesium, potassium deficiencies, okay? Take a closer look. This is also the card, okay, of, like I said, Virgo, quiet contemplation, taking some time out for your health if you need to. It could also be finding answers to something which is bothering you. You're going to find out about this rat. It's also about the detective. You're going to find out the rat in your workplace. Don't worry. They're going to be exposed. Okay? So Virgo, this is Libra. Hope and healing again. The star. Whatever you're going through for help, there is hope and there is healing. It could be at a distance from you. And that's all right. But it is available to you. And I want you to believe it. Do not worry about your health. Okay? Do not. It is available to you. You will find your answers. And I'm setting this intention for you or for anybody that you're worried about. Now, I'll take some cards for my Kipper deck to see what your future health, money, career prospects are. Cancer, please. Superb. At the Divine Feminine again, who could be taking a voyage? Now, somebody here is moving forward. Get ready, pack your bags. Very, very well. Well dressed, classy. Look at this. And very organized. This is something you've planned. You know, you're at the you know train station here, but there's going to be a movement. Now, this for me is the card of movement. Okay. It's going to bring you high honors. This is also my card of receiving awards, rewards, recognition, promotions. It's all coming for you, Cancer. Get ready. Get ready. But it may need you to move. State, cities, I don't know. Let me know, Cancer. Let me know. 
it's coming. Let me know when you get awarded or that you get the recognition you deserve. <laughs> Cancer future. I don't know who this is for. I have the death card here, which is a card of Scorpio. Something is ending. Something could be coming to an end and maybe you're going to receive a message about it. Now, this card warns you of theft. I want you to take care of, you know, something very precious to you. And that card of that Chiron in uh, in Libra, you know, that rat, it is somebody stealing something very precious from you under your nose. I don't know if it is some habit that you have inculcated for yourself, which is actually devastating you. Please be careful. It's slowly eating away at you. I want you to be careful. I don't want this theft of health for you. Okay? Now, I hope somebody's not stealing something from you. Please take care of your valuables as well. Take one more card. That's it. What is this about? You can receive some news about some ending mm -hmm. here. Now, there is an older figure here. I don't know if some of you are going to receive some bad news about somebody, an older woman in your family, but I don't like this card of theft here. Are you going to receive some news that somebody was stealing something from? Now, this, this person could be a boss. There's some theft going on here. There is somebody stealing. Look, if you are in a workplace, okay. Now, I want to ask, I want to clarify this if you are in a workplace where you feel there's some theft of money going on and they're stealing, I don't know if there's a woman involved in it in the future or woman is getting stolen from. What is this death about spirit? I got the full Aries. Somebody's going to end something here and take a leap of faith. I think the thing was already dead. Whatever that job or that thing was for you, it was finished. What is this theft about me, spirit? It was a long time. Maybe they took you for a fool. You're tired. At the Queen of Pentacles, the theft. You know, there is some woman figure who's been stealing something from an organization. And there's going to be communication about that. And I don't know if you, that is going to bring about an end to you leaving that place. Were you falsely accused? This is earth energy. This is the minor arcana of the Empress. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Business, money, property. I hope this person is not going through some kind of a loss in the future. I just want to put that out there too. Maybe you'll hear about it. What is this bond down? She is going through some kind of a theft. I'll tell you that. My God, I have the high priestess. This is a secret. Nobody knows about this. You know, I don't know. Because see, when the high priestess comes out and I'm talking about career and health, I'm not talking about love relationships. In love, this is the mistress. There is a third party here who's stealing from somebody. But there's going to be news about this. And I want you to keep your eyes open at your workplace. There is definitely a secretive connection. I don't know if it is with involving a woman who's stealing from a company. I don't know who this is, yeah, Cancer. I want you to be aware of this energy around you and take, you know, adequate steps. I'm going to take one more card on that. This is somebody who's very well put together. But I think they're not what they seem. One more card, please, please. Okay. I have the Knight of Cups energy. There's, there's an age difference here. Maybe you're younger. You're showing up as, of course, water. Cancers, this is more my Scorpio card. Somebody who's very slow and measured, but they have a lot of emotions. I think you've invested a lot of emotion in your workplace, a lot. And somebody has been stealing from you. And I'm sorry to say this person could be an older person, could be a woman. You know, with the card of the mistress here, I hope they're not trying to seduce somebody at their workplace. I can't shake that energy off, yeah? Just be take cognizant of any woman who's not on the up and up with you for your business. And there is an age difference between you and them. One more card. My God, there could be imprisonment for someone. Scar a Capricorn. You don't see that rat again? Look, there is a rat at your workplace. In the future, if you feel this energy around you, please look 
carefully. Do not trust everybody. I don't know if this person is going to do prison time in the future. They have embezzled money. They have stolen. And it's going to be brought to an end. Maybe it's been going on for a long time. Because you know that rat looks very harmless no? in that deck. It's eating food. Somebody here, okay, watch your money and your finances. There's somebody eating away at something that you've stored, which is precious. It could be your business. It could be your finances. Please take care. And I think uh, this person could, you know, receive some kind of punishment for that. This is also about some family secret being revealed. And, you know, the high priestess is about secrets. So if you have a family business, I want you to keep your eyes open there as well. Now, I'll take some Angel of Abundance cards for your future. Career, health and money. Comment below, Cancer. Let me know what you're going through, please. Thank you. Okay. Now, block out distractions. Don't allow people to, you know, sway you away from your path. Cancer, organize. There is this energy of you organizing, organizing, organizing for success. Block out distractions. If you've taken up a challenge, a health challenge, you can do it. I promise you, you have that energy available. Block out the things or the people or the habits that distract you. Some of you have been thinking of doing some kind of donations. Please do it. Charity work. Pick a charity you like. Donate to somebody you love. Help people. That will come back to you in million fold. How? It will help you clear your debts. If some of you are struggling to pay a loan, do not worry. You're going to be able to clear your debts. Zero. That slate is going to be wiped clean. Awesome credit score. Savings. You know, with that Chiron in Libra energy of something eating away at something precious here, which you've gone through, okay, for your finances, some of you may have had your savings eroded. Do not worry. You're going to have your savings. You're going to have your debts cleared. And I'm sending this intention for you, Cancer. Claim it. Now, I'll end your reading with Angel Answer Cards. This is for both your future. And your current health, money, and career, okay? Let's see what the angels want to tell you, my darling, Cancers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Recovery. Now, you ready? Do your affirmations with me. There is going to be a recovery of your health, a recovery of your finances, and a huge recovery of your career. Replenishment regrowth, new growth, new opportunities for all. And so be it. Let go, Cancer. Let go of that habit, people, situation, or job that does not value you. Ask. Ask for help. You have a community of friends, family, loved ones, even your co-workers who will help you with anything that you're suffering today, whether it's for health, for your money situations, or for your career. You have help. And last but not least, do your affirmations with me. There's going to be a peaceful resolution and a recovery of your health, a peaceful resolution and a recovery of your money, finances, a peaceful resolution or and a recovery of any problems you've had at your workplace and they're going to be resolved in your favor, Cancer, and so be it. So my darlings, these were your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers for your career, your health, and your finances. Like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel, help my little channel grow, be a part of my community, Follow me on Instagram. I post three card messages, angel messages. Even if you can take one message from this, you know, it will make me happy. I cannot wait to come back, do another reading. Watch your love reading. There are a lot of messages for your current love and your future one. Until then, you are loved. You are guided. You are guarded. You are always protected, Cancer. Have a wonderful day. Namaste, my darling. Bye.